morning. Just coming up to 25 past 11 on a Wednesday. And I'm back out for another short session. Only a few days away now from the start of December. And it's starting to get cold. Current air temperatures around about 2 degrees. I think the forecast said highs of around about 4, maybe 5 degrees today. But it's a beautiful morning nonetheless. Yeah, it's fresh, but we've got a lovely blue sky with the odd white cloud. And the sun has just broke through. Fished this venue last Friday and blanked. And the water temperature then was 9 degrees. But we're a few days on now. I haven't done a reading as yet. But I'm pretty sure it's dropped. And the forecast after today is looking rather bleak. Just above freezing last night. It's supposed to drop down to around about minus 2 tonight. And over the weekend, minus three with possibly the odd snow flurry. So today might be my last trip for a while, as there's a good chance if the forecast is right that this lake's going to freeze. Now, on arrival on the dam, around about, I don't know, six, seven rod lengths from the bank in six foot of water, sort of plume of bubbles. You do get the odd patch of uh, silt bubbles on this lake, but yeah, certainly this time of the year, can't ignore that. So I got a rod sorted and dropped a solid bag rod right on it. So that's a right hand rod, left hander, solid bag again, maybe a faithful twisted multi rig. That one's fished toward the central area of the lake. And the rod just in the shot there on the left, single bank sticks, is on a zig again. Fished around about three foot in six foot of water. Any signs, I'm gonna bring a rod in and cast to it. Gonna move the rod with a zig around frequently. And I'll have two or three casts at least with the solid bag rods to see if we can not pick a carp up. Lovely as always to be here. Let's see what today's got in store. Kettles were spoiled. Coffee time. Catch you later. So a bit of an update as we're approaching 1.30. You can probably make out from this shot that the sun's moved round to my left. The first hour, hour and a half of the session it was really nice where I was standing. I was just standing in my hoodie. But since that uh, sun's moved round and we got plenty of shade now it's gone quite cold. So the old jackets had to come out. Yeah so uh, the rod which I placed uh, around about six rod lengths from the bank in six foot of water, the right hander, on the uh, the bubbling which I saw from the off, had a couple of bleeps on that one, and the zig rod has been recast around about three to four times, been rechucking that one around every 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the lake today is like a mill pond compared to Friday where there was quite a chop on the water. So there's absolutely no excuses not to keep your eyes peeled and fixed on the water. Certainly this time of the uh, year, those telltale signs could make a break your session and get you that bite. Regarding the bubbling, uh, I've seen that in quite a few places across the lake. So I'm uh, not convinced that that's actually fish feeding or rooting around across the bottom. Uh, it's a spring fed uh, lake, this particular lake, and there is quite a few pockets, or silt pockets, or gas pockets, whatever you want to call them. 
yeah, they're all coming up in one area. There's no like strips, so. Mm. But I'll keep watching and observing and keep plugging away. See nothing show at all. Right, let's get back to it. Just come up to five past three and the zig rod's been packed away. And yeah, <laughs> it's been very quiet, very cold, fresh, dry, nice and sunny. But it's only gonna get tougher. And as I say, you can't catch them at home. So I shall keep an eye on the weather and if conditions allow, I'm planning to get back out Friday. But if there's a lid on this lake, this video will continue into the next session. If anything happens during this one, I'll incorporate it into this vlog. But if not, I'll see you again soon. It's just gone 20 past one and I've just re-spotted as you can see the rain has returned chucked it down all day yesterday which did me a favour because if it didn't there's no way I'd have been fishing today this place would still have a lid on it it's been threatening most of the morning to be honest but I've been keeping an eye on the uh, forecast in the last 20 minutes it's changed so it's looking like it's going to be a wet pack up just taking the uh, water temperature and I'm quite surprised really it's fluctuating between 5 and 6 degrees I thought it would have been a lot colder than that to be honest I've been watching the water like a hawk flat calm again today it's an absolutely nothing there's the odd pockets of bubbles again but as I mentioned in the uh, earlier on in this vlog yeah I think that's to do with the uh, the natural spring which flows into this lake so those have been pinged out to the central area of the lake now and they're fished not far from each other probably a rod length in between each other so it's all quiet naturally it's going to get tougher this time of the year uh, I fished it last year and it yeah I don't think this place has got a reputation for uh, winter form to be honest I blanked all the way through November last year all the way through December and I think the only bot I had was Mid January. But it's nice to be out here and doing it. So I've probably got an hour and a half maybe left before I have a slow pack up. So there's still a chance. Let's keep plugging away. Come on you carp. Morning. Just gone smack on 11 o'clock. It's a Friday. And this is the follow on session from the previous one. Right then just to bring up the speed. I uh, actually came down on Wednesday. But uh, unfortunately this place had the uh, dreaded lid on it. Um, on the Tuesday evening I was vigorously looking at the forecast and it kept on saying it wasn't going to drop below freezing 
but I woke up on the Wednesday morning and everywhere was just covered in frost. So this venue is not far from home, so it was worth a look. And yet yeah, everything was absolutely covered in frost. But thankfully, today we've got wobbly water. We've got an air temperature around about 9 degrees. Rained all day yesterday, all the ice has melted, so the water temperature is going to be well down. But we've got two rods in the water and we're back out there doing it. Whew. Well, it's precisely two minutes past two. I just finished my uh, last coffee of the day, so I thought I'd pack the stove up. I had a single bleep and uh, the left hand has hooped over. And I've gone and bagged a common. Well chuffed for this one, not a big fish. But it's made the effort worthwhile. And it's my first December carp of 2023. There we go. You're very welcome on a cold December day. Quite a warrior this one. Bit of a dodgy mouth which I'll treat before returning. You can see from his tail there, it's got quite a few parasites on it. And a bit of a white sheen. Yeah, that tail don't look the best. So this one's well and truly been through it. Oh. Made the effort worthwhile. Right, I'll get that mouth treated. Pop a bit of propolis on the tail. Slip it back to fight another day. Well chuffed. See you again soon.